Hey everyone, we are going to be looking at slope triangles today. Basically, we're going to use slope triangles to answer the question, does it matter what two points I use on a line to find the slope? So let's start out with this graph right here. There are two different slope triangles drawn. We have this red triangle between points A and B, and then we have this blue triangle between points B and C. So let's see if I get the same slope whenever I use those slope triangles. So the first one, we are going to find the slope between A and B. So the rise here is one, two, and the run is one, two, three, four. So our slope is two over four, and two over four simplifies to one half. So the slope between those two points is one half. Okay, now let's find the slope between points B and C. So the rise of this slope triangle is one, two, three, and the run is one, two, three, four, five, six. So three over six is the slope, and three over six also simplifies to one half. So we had two different triangles. Um, the triangles were different sides. Notice that their hypotenuse is on the same line. And um, it did not matter what two points I used, since their hypotenuse was on the same line, they ended up having the same slope. So that's what we talked about in this last question. It says, what can you conclude about slope triangles that lie on the same line? Well, first of all, these would be considered similar triangles since their sides are proportional. We know that two over four was equal to the other slope of three over six. That's what I mean by when they're proportional, their sides when we divided them equaled each other. Okay, and then we already talked about this last one a little bit. Their hypotenuses, diagonals, have the same slope after they are simplified. So it does not matter what triangle you use, as long as the points are on the same line, as long as their hypotenuses are on the same line, they're gonna have the same slope. So this first one right here, it says, which of the following slope triangles could represent the slope of the graphed line? So basically, which have the same simplified fraction whenever we do rise divided by run? Let's first find the slope of this line here. So there's a perfect point here and here. Um, and they did not mark these in between lines. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'm not thrown off. This would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now I can see that each line just represents one. So now it'll be easy to do the rise over the run. The rise is two and the run is one. So that means my slope is two over one, which equals two. Okay, now I need other triangles where the rise over the run will also equal two. So on this first one, nine divided by two would be the rise over the run. And nine divided by two is 4.5. So that definitely will not work. These would not have the same slope. Okay, next one, the rise is seven, the run is 3.5 and seven divided by 3.5 is two. So this triangle could lie on the same line because it has the same slope. And then this next one, the rise is 42 and the run is 21 and 42 divided by 21 is two. So this one could also lie on the same line. Okay, and then last one, 100 divided by 51 is 1.96. So it's almost two, but it has to be exactly two, which it's not. So that triangle would not work. Okay, let's look at number two. It says triangles D, E, F, and L, M, N are similar right triangles. Which proportion can be used to show that the slope of D, E is equal to the slope of L, N? So these questions look really confusing. It's basically just asking the same thing as it was on this one though. 
which shows the slope, the same slope as this line right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the slope of this line and then just see which slope formula matches this right here. So let me start by finding the slope of the smaller triangle. The rise is one, the run is one, two, three. So I know the slope is one third. Let's verify it by finding the slope of the larger triangle. The rise is one, two, three. The run is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's three over nine, which simplifies to one third. So the slope I'm looking for is one third. So I'm gonna go through these slope formulas now and see which one of them have a slope of one third. So let's start with A. I'm going to put each line of that slope formula into the calculator. Six minus three is three and four minus three is one. So this slope would be three over one and then five minus two is three and nine minus zero is nine, which simplifies to one third. So part of this equation would work with the three over one part does not match my slope. Both of them have to match my slope. So A is not going to work. Okay, let's look at B, four minus three is one and six minus three is three. Five minus two is three and nine minus zero is nine, which simplifies to one third. So both of these are one third, both of them simplified to one third, like it did with my picture over here. So B could work, let's check the other ones just to make sure. On C, four minus three is one, six minus three is three, so we have one third. And then nine minus two is seven and five minus zero is five, so C is definitely not gonna work because seven fifths was not the slope of that graph line. Okay, then D, six minus three is three, four minus three is one, and then nine minus zero is nine, and five minus two is three, and nine over three simplifies to three. So these equal each other because they were both three, but that's not the slope, the slope was one third. So the only one where both fractions simplified to one third was B. Okay, last one, it says triangles A, B, C, and D, E, F are similar right triangles. Based on this information, which statement is true? And if you look at the statements, they're all talking about the slopes. So let's go ahead and find the slope of this line and maybe that will help us answer this question. So I'm gonna start with the smaller triangle. The rise is two and the run is three. So the slope is two thirds, and if we wanna double check with the larger triangle, the rise there is four, and the run is six, and four over six also simplifies to two thirds. So the slopes of these triangles are the same. I just found them both. Both of the slopes are the same. So let's see if we can find an answer choice that says that. So A says, the slope of the hypotenuse of triangle ABC is greater than the slope of the hypotenuse of triangle DEF. Well, that's not true. I just proved that they're the same. B is saying the same thing, but it's saying less than. They're not less than, they're the same. C says the slope of the hypotenuse of triangle ABC is equal to the slope of the hypotenuse of triangle DEF. That is true. I just proved that they were equal or the same. And then D says the relationship between the slope of the hypotenuse of triangle ABC and the slope of the hypotenuse of triangle DEF cannot be determined. Well, that's not true because I just determined the slopes of both of them. Okay, so slope triangles on this were all just about proving that their hypotenuses have the same slope if they're on the same line and those triangles are similar since they were proportional. Their fractions equaled each other.